Eyewitness News continues on WUTR. Lawmakers in Albany are taking steps to honor the brave men and women who fought for our freedoms with two new bills. One would prevent unlawful housing discriminations against our vets and the other would strengthen protections for immigrant family of military members. Capital correspondent Emil Taligi has the story. And at a time when we see division amongst uh, so many uh, regarding this issue, this is a great opportunity for New York State to lead the way. The Alex R. Humanis Legacy Bill will provide a pathway to citizenship for family members of veterans who are undocumented. This is a current federal program. New York will be the first in the nation to provide resources. Senator Jake Ashby explains the inspiration behind the bill. When I was in Iraq in 2008 in Diyala province, I remember when Staff Sergeant Humanis' remains were, were being recovered. And what I didn't know at the time was that his spouse was actively being deported, which is an unbelievable travesty. Advocates say this is no way to honor those who serve. In Humanis' case, his spouse was able to remain in the states. The Ashby says there's simply not enough knowledge about the federal program. But again, states aren't putting forward the necessary resources for it. And just think of how many people out there, how many families, service members are working to protect this country and we owe it to them to help protect their families and bring them in to our country. If passed, the bill would help to hire lawyers to represent those being deported. Senator Natalia Fernandez is proposing another piece of legislation to prevent unlawful housing discrimination against vets. There's stigma with uh, elder veterans if they need medical care, if they're dealing with mental health issues, if they're dealing with substance use issues, um, and we need to make it set and, and known and, and rule in law that the veterans shouldn't be discriminated of housing especially. According to the National Coalition for Homeless Veterans, only 7% of the general population can claim veteran status, but nearly 13% of the homeless adult population are veterans. This shows that with proof of you serving, you cannot be discriminated against programs. I'm told both bills have bipartisan support and will be voted on tomorrow. Reporting in Albany.